number two ranked team in the state. Yeah, Champlin Park comes in on, on certainly in the last number of years. Very successful program. Been to the state tournament in 2015 and 2016. They lost in the semis last year and the year before they lost in the first round. So this is a Champlin Park team that knows it's got some very good talent. Two nice victories to start the season, Joe, and, and this is a, this is a pretty good squad that the Cardinals are up against here tonight. Well, and for the one of the best teams in the state, no big surprise they have one of the best players in the state of Minnesota. Uh, without a, without a question, Sidney Hilly is uh, as Coach Arcan told me, maybe the best player in the state of Minnesota, and and uh, she is a force. Already 41 kills in two contests this season, so she comes in here, and, and the number one key for Coon Rapids is we have to limit her. We have to keep the ball away from her if we possibly can. And on the flip side, the Cardinals a little bit younger, but we do return Ellie Hintzy, who was uh, a weapon for them as an underclassman now, uh, still just a junior. Yeah, Ellie's a very good volleyball player, and they're going to rely on her up front to, to see what she can do to control the offense for Coon Rapids. But uh, definitely a chore, a, a monumental chore ahead of Coon Rapids here tonight. But, and, you know, and talking to to uh, John Yunker, head coach for Champa Parks. We, we look at one game at a time. We don't look past anybody. We know that uh, anybody, any given night, things can happen. Well, for the Cardinals, they started here at home and lost the opening two sets against Chisago Lakes before coming back only to lose in a fifth. You saw John Yunker, head coach of Champa Park. There's Scott Arcan, head coach for the Coon Rapids Cardinals in his fifth season. And as always, good crowd base here supporting the Cardinal volleyball player. Yeah, putting, putting a decent crowd on hand is, yep. is important. First day of school, so getting kids to stick around at the high school for extracurriculars, not that easy day one. Well, I, you know, there was rumbles through the school today that you were going to be here, so the right. kids stayed purposely a little later so they could see you here in action tonight. Well, important will be for Coon Rapids to get a good start and at least stay close with the Rebels as long as they can. You talk about, you know, anyone can win on any given yes. night. You know, the two, the two victories, Champa Park, they started off uh, at home against Minnetonka, a 3-0 winner there, and then on the road at Prior Lake, a 3-1 winner there. Prior Lake number three in the state, by the way. There's a look at your starters on the left for the Rebel, Rebels. Weimer, Skirch, Vattendahl, Vidal, Hilly, Schmidt, Kalflin, and Miller for the Cardinals. Fosslin, Bussey, Harris, Hintzy, Whitfield, and Lauren Koss. Champa Park will get the first service. And we are ready to get this one underway. Our first action of the season inside, Izzy Ashburn. <laughs> will get us underway just as sophomore. Sending it across, Bussy with the pass. Tack a little bit behind Callie Harris and it went wide. First point to Champa Park. You know, Coach Arkan said, this is a group, great group of kids that he has here. And this Yang is going to test the them. pass up front. A little miscommunication. Hintzy comes in late and just passes it over. Attack comes from the left side by Vattendahl Vidal. Harris attacking from the Cardinals' left side. Vidal there. She'll push it over with two hands. Yang near the back corner has it. And Harris attacks from midcourt. Near the back line to pick it up is Hilly. Tack from the right side by Schmidt. I touched the net. The Cardinals touched the net. And that, that hit was out by Champa Park, but unfortunately for Coon Rapids, a little piece of the net gives the points to the, the point to the Rebels. And that's going to be a service ace. For Izzy Ashburn. Back-to-back -back service aces, and it's a 4-0 lead. 
Uh, one of the things Cardinals do not want to have here tonight is, is the Champa Park build a, a big lead. They're going to try and see if they can stop a run here. But well, and passing just so important, yeah. especially when you go against a team that is good on the serve. And that pass just a little too far carried Fossil into the setter across the line, and it's five nothing. Yeah, it's it's pretty warm here in the gym, and you know we're gonna we're gonna see quite a bit wiping the floor here tonight. We check the inside temperature; it's about 96. Couple of service aces for Ashburn. A couple of make it three. A couple of errant plays by the Cardinals early on, and they are digging that big hole. Six nothing. You see it again, just a, a tough way, not, not able to control the serve. And there again, set, same situation for Coon Rapids. Quick 7-0 lead by the Rebels. Four aces on this service for Izzy Ashburn. Laura Botch will come in. Hincy picks it up. And that'll be three touches staying on the Cardinal side. Miscommunication. Well, yeah, and it, it's quickly 8 nothing. Yeah, granted, it's, it's early in the season, but uh, communication, as you talk about, so important on the court. Cardinal's able to get it across. Attack by Vidal didn't have a lot on it. That one's got too much on it for Fosslin. It's off the back line and it'll be nine to zero for Champlain Park and they have zero kills. Uh, Fosslin looking to find that back corner, but as you mentioned, just a little bit too much mustard on it. Drops this one short. Harris got it through the block. Nice job picking it up by Claflin. The Rebels able to play it over. Again, the Cardinals kind of win at the net there, but Rebels able to keep it alive. That one out of desperation gets back over, kind of punched at. It was a punch by Vidal, and that'll find the floor. It's 10 0. And it's still no kills. At that point, some sloppy play on both sides. Ashley continues to serve. And a missed touch on the set. Cardinals trying to find a combination on the floor that will allow them to stop the streak here. And that one right into the upper arms of Callie Harris. It's five aces. You know, it's a 12 0 lead. And a Coon Rapids timeout. When you're trailing the number two team in the state and it's 12 nothing, it's a big hole to dig out of, and you have to try and regroup and think about things. It, you know, just a point at this point is is a, a win for Coon Rapids. They have to stop the bleeding here, yet to tally a point this evening. Of course, we'll have highlights of of this and a number of different sports on Sports Night. We're live every Monday, 7:30. Make sure you catch us. Had our Labor Day edition yesterday. Better than any Pokemon on Pokemon Go. Yeah. Catch Shapiro and Yun on Sports Night. Got to catch them all. Got to catch sports them all. Sports Night, it's, it can be just as addictive as Pokemon Go. Once you see one, you can't, you've got to see them absolutely. all. Absolutely. Got to catch them all. Yun and Shapiro on Sports Night. I'm sorry, Shapiro and Yun on Sports oh. Night. <laughs> Howie and the other guy. Yeah, Howie and the other guy. So 12 nothing lead as Izzy Ashburn continues at the service line. Five aces as part of this run. Whitfield was able to play it across. They come back attacking it. A great cross-court kill for Marissa Vattendahl Vidal. Now Vattendahl Vidal did a nice job of placing exactly where she needed to on the court, right in that far far side. Cardinals not able to get over to it. Yeah. 
And again, that first touch, so important. Coon Rapids has to be able to pick up the service and make a good, solid pass to a teammate to generate an opportunity for an attack. This one just passed over by Fossland. Here comes Vidal again and another kill, 15 nil. Yeah, not, much, not much Cardinals could do defensively there. It's just a nice feed up front and solid kill for the point, 15 nothing. Harris can't quite get there. Good wall set up in front of her, even as she, had she gotten to the pass. Just a little bit out of her reach. It's 16 nothing. It's another ace, number seven for Ashburn on this run. Chapel Park making quick work so far here in set number one. A good first touch and a little too much on the second. And it's another ball that the Cardinals misplay and unable to play across 18-0. Set for Fosslin, picked up by Hilly. The attack in the middle was stuffed. Good active play at the net by Whitfield to keep that one alive then. Right side attack for Emma Schmidt. And the streak continues. Oh, Schmidt puts it to that far back side. Again, Cardinal's not there to contest the ball. Makes it a 19-0 lead. Hincy has it near the back line. Harris can't quite get the angle. Fosslin played that outside the, the pin. Oh, you're going to see it here. Just, yeah, you can see it going the other side. Ooh, good play at the net by Vattendahl. Vidal just pokes it to the floor. It's 22 nil. Timeout call, called by Coach Arcan. Yeah, Champel Park certainly is for the most part, showing why they're the number two team in the state. But unfortunately for Coon Rapids, they're just not able to muster anything on the other side well, of the net. Well, it's just so many unforced errors. Yeah. You know. You see that, that ball going to the other side of the pin. It's not like a curveball. It's not where it crosses no. the plate. Well, if you, haven't, uh, if you haven't checked us out, if you're new to the program or new in town, check us out on Facebook. Make sure you uh, you like us, because you know we always want to be liked. Check out your pictures, great updates. It's Facebook. Cardinals able to get it across. Big attack by Vidal. Another point. I think that may have may have been headed out, but unfortunately, couldn't tell. We'll see on the hit here. I'm not sure. Tough to tell from that angle. And it's set point.
Punched across. Nice diving save. Here comes the attack by Vidal. Cardinals able to keep it up. Yang plays it across. Comes Vidal again. Yang a good save near the back line. Rebels able to pick that up. They play to the middle and what a shot to the back corner by Maria Claflin to finish it. A perfect set for the Rebels. They go 25 nil to open the contest. Coon Rapids a chance to respond with service, I guess, in set two. But uh, well, that's, that's why there are three sets to get an opportunity to uh, regroup and come back. But that was about as a dominating performance as you're going to see. 25 nothing win for the Rebels to start this match off. And we will take a short break. Be back with that second set right after this. You're watching live high school volleyball on CTN. The Coon Rapids Recycling Center can help you recycle all of your old appliances and electronics. From your old refrigerator to washers and dryers, we can help you recycle your appliances and keep them out of the waste stream, which is required by state law. When it comes to electronics, some fees may apply. Check our website for more details. The Coon Rapids Recycling Center, helping you recycle even more. Hey Rover, come on over to the Coon Rapids Love My Pet Fair coming up on Sunday, September 25th. There's lots of fun things to see and do. There'll be a costume contest for pets, dog training demonstrations, paw art, even a pet parade for you and your pet to take part in. Meet local vendors who have products and services that can help you and your pet. It's the Coon Rapids Love My Pet Fair, Sunday, September 25th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Riverview Park in Coon Rapids. See you there. So they say it's a man's world? I don't see anybody's name on it. While they were doing their thing, we slowly changed all that. Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. Welcome back to Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse. We've watched one set of the volleyball match between Champlin Park and Coon Rapids. Champlin Park winning the first game, won 25 nothing. They controlled their service game throughout. Not much Coon Rapids could do. Couldn't muster an offense coming back, and Champlin Park does a nice job. Good control of the net. Great service game. They see another kill by, by Champlin Park. And again, controlling the game up, up front was the key for the Rebels, as well as their service game, to win that first one 25 0. Yeah, Coon Rapids, uh, I don't know if they had some jitters. They obviously know the caliber of opponent they're up against, but uh, very shaky and never got out of it. Uh, a lot of unforced errors that, that, that cost them and they get behind big and uh, you got to come back and have some sort of response here in the second set. Oh, you know, granted, absolutely. I mean, the new coming in, this is going to be a tough contest, but you, you, you want to be able to put some points on the board at this point. And it sure it's uh, disappointing for Coach Arcan to go and lose that first match or that first set 25 nothing. But an opportunity to redeem themselves here in, in set number two. Paige Foslin will serve. Eventually. <laughs> All right, here we go. Champlain Park setting it up in the middle. A quick kill for Maria Claflin. Now, service didn't last very long for the Cardinals. One opportunity and back to the Rebels. And just nice job up front getting the kill. Service by Schmidt. Cardinals set up for Harris. 
Picked up by Schmidt. Just played across. Set up this time. Vidal the attack, long pass, tap back to the floor by Claflin. Yeah, not much Carter could do there, just a little bit too much and an easy, just a little pushback for the Rebels. And Claflin. Diving save. And now pushed over by Alex Wright. Big kill from the left side by Sidney Hilly. Yeah, you know, and that is why there she you saw that he yeah. heard the power. I was watching uh, in warm ups her, her kill, and she has a lot of power. She times that well, and you can see why she's one of the better volleyball players in the state. Bussy plays it over. It's wide. And uh, it'll be Champlain Park Point. Olivia Wise checking in for Coon Rapids. Mark Ford. Played across by Yang. They're going to set up. A little miss hit by Claflin that time. The Cardinals are on the board, and the fans are going crazy. That's all you need. Just need that one point. Get things going in your direction. Look at the fans. Sliding save by Harris. Vidal to the corner. Weimer Skirch at the service line now for the Rebels. Pushed across by Miller. Hinsey attacking. Oh, wow. A lot of arc, good hang time, and put it right to the back line. Yeah, it, not much the Cardinals could do there, and that was perfectly placed on the back line, right on the stripe. Set this one up for Vidal. She stopped, but a nice save by Weimer Scourge. That pass just a little bit out of reach, maybe missed time to bid by Weiss. Seven to one. Weimer Scourge picks it up, the set for Hilly, and she's got another kill. Just power at the net by Sidney Hilly. Cardinals not able to react. NC attacking. Swimer Skirch is there. The set for Hilly again. She just tapped that one over. Picked up by Fosslin. Harris will punch it across. You're going to set up Hilly again. Harris is there for it. Fosslin going into the stands, but can't bring it back safely. It'll be a kill for Hilly and a 9-1 lead for the Rebels. I tell you, the Cardinals got a piece of that one, but obviously couldn't control it. Yang wanted to get out of the way, thought that might be going long, and then wasn't quite sure, and she got a piece of it. And yeah, I, I think she was ace. correct in her first, uh, first instance. I think that was going long. But uh, it's tough to react at that point. Weimer Skirch serves wide. Cardinal fans paid mo good money to come in. Absolutely. And cheer. They are going to cheer vigorously every opportunity. That one just off the uh, out of the out of the side. Big stuff in the middle. For Nisha Whitfield. Yeah. 
not a lot on that return from Chapel Park, and Whitfield did a nice job of just putting it right back over the, the net with a little bit of authority. Serve is long, the side out back to the Rebels. Hincy plays it over. Set comes near side, the attack from Miller. Hincy back the other way. Weimer scoops there to pick it up. The set for Hilly, and she powers it to the floor. Yeah, she does a nice job. Once she gets that set opportunity, she does a nice job with it. Timeout, Coon Rapids trailing 13-3 here in the second set. The Cardinal is able to get a, a three points here, but Champlain Park uh, certainly doesn't let up at any point. Now up at a 10-point lead at 13-3 in this first break here in set number two. Well, Shapiro, everything we do on YouTube. Everything. Well, not quite everything, but lots of stuff that we do on YouTube. Yeah, if you want to go back and, and see some games that uh, have already been played, you can certainly go to YouTube and do that. Wants to lip sync, doesn't know the words. Hey, but you know what? The effort's there. That's right. There are some benefits to being the JV team. Yeah, I get to have some cookies. Varsity team doesn't get to really snack while eating the junior varsity play because they have to go play, but JV, they're done. A little bit of a low pass just bumped across by Hilly. The Cardinals carried it. I'll make it 14-3 in favor of Champlain Park. Hincy into the net. But she had it lined up, just a miss hit. Punched across by Hilly, diving save by Yang. Cardinals play it across, they'll set. Oh. That's pretty automatic. No question, no question on something like that. Well, uh, pretty automatic. And the fans are bowing down to that to her for that hit. Champlain Park fans anyway. Hincy taps it across. Spins out. It will be off of the Rebels and a Cardinal point. So Hintzy wins a little battle at the, at the net. Gets the side out for the Cardinals. Need a streak here, Shapiro. They need a streak. They really do. 16-4. Wow. Tough to get it that way. You see her coming. The defenders have to all see her coming and go. Look um, out. <laughs> Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Here it comes. And that'll get Hilly to the service line. Big stuff in the middle. You know, Coach Arcan mentioned With Jordan that. Staples and Allie Miller combining for the block. Sidney Hilly will probably be a setter in college. Hincy 
gets the kill. They see it up front. Hinsey with a nice kill here. The point for the Cardinals. Attack coming from Jordan Sta Staples, but uh, missed hit a little bit into the net. Makes it 18-6. Alex Wright, just a sophomore, getting some varsity minutes. Early on against one of the top teams in the state. Hilly picks it up off the floor, dumped over by Ashburn. The attack by Harris gets through the block. And the Cardinals do have a bit of a roll going. That's what you need. You need to get a little roll. You need to get a little confidence. 18-7. Pushed across with the left hand by Staples, and it's right down the line for the point. 19-7. Dolphin and Prasky in for the Rebels from Champa Park. Five foot eleven, just a freshman. Yep. Ellie Miller at the service line. Well, too much on that pass, push right back to the floor by Staples. <laughs> She's just a freshman, as the fans pointed out. Got it through the block that time, gets herself another kill. 21 to 7. Could be Stalpus. Stalps? I didn't check on that one because I didn't notice the L came before the P. Oh, that was that was almost Shapiro's. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at uh, at the roster. Could have hit me in the head. Got the fan fans looking out for me across the way. Not a lot on that one from Prasky. She was going one way and had to play it back the other. And it was but kind she of, found the hole. Yeah, kind of more of a push over the, uh, the top of the net. You see it here. Just enough over that front line and nobody able to return it for the cards. Fosslin able to get it across for the Cardinals. Set goes to Stubbs. And she plays long, Cardinal point. Good Rapids trying to keep this this set or this game or this set two alive, 23 to eight. That one played way back. Oh, there's a little miscommunication the there. Let it fall near the front. Rebels are a point away from taking set number two. So an infraction against the Rebels gives the Cardinals their 10th point. Keeps them alive here in the second set. <laughs> Big kill right down the middle for Hannah Prasky. We'll finish it 25-10. 
the final in the second set. The Rebels showing their power here tonight, and they have a commanding two-set lead. We'll be back with the third after this. So I just moved in with his family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. Did you know that fluorescent bulbs like this must be recycled? These energy-saving bulbs are becoming the norm in the marketplace, but many people don't know they contain mercury, a toxic chemical that can seep into the air if the bulb is broken. All of these bulbs must be recycled, and it's easy to drop them off at the Coon Rapids Recycling Center. Local retailers will often recycle these bulbs as well, but no matter what, do not throw them away. They are considered a hazardous material to our environment. Recycling, made easy for you, right here in Coon Rapids. Na 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 na, I love you so. I love you, I love you. La 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 la, la 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 la. We're here. Yay! It's a short drive from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Second set, the Rebels picked up pretty much right where they had left off after sweeping in game one. Uh, they scored the first five, four in game two, but had a commanding uh, 11 to three lead at one point. The outcome never in doubt. The Cardinals, few more things to cheer about in that second set, but still far from uh, challenging. And, Gracie Ellingson will do the honors. No one kind of up on right, but the Cardinals able to recover and get us an attack set up for Harris. Played over by Ashburn. Short set and a stuff in the middle. That was Hilly. Got a piece of that one. First point goes to the Rebels. Brianna, Suff uh, Brianna Buffington was right there with her. Harris tips it over, scoops up by Ellingson. Hilly, not a lot on that attack. Yang is there for it. Harris from the left side got it through the block, but kept up by Ashburn. Here's Hilly. A little more on that one, and it finds the four. Well, the Rebels did a good job of saving that point and getting that over to Hilly for the kill. Fossil in touch with two hands. Oh. 
Diving serve picked up by Yang. Played across by Bussey. Hilly on the attack. Wright has it. Harris and Fosslin will play it across. Set into the middle. And Buffington will get the kill. Yang had it but couldn't control it. Four nil. Well, this is how we, you know, we certainly saw both those sets start off with just controlled by the Rebels with their service game. Yang plays it right back over. Had to come charging in on it. It's Hilly and no chance to defend that one. Does so such a nice job of placing the ball on the floor. As you mentioned, nothing that the Cardinals can do about it. Yang near the back line. The set will go to Harris on the left side. Weimerskirch has it. Hilly plays it back to the middle and over it goes by Stelts. Cardinals misplay and it's a 6 0 lead. Yeah, look, more unforced errors by the Cardinals. Another misplay off the service, 7 0. Poked across, Rebels set it up, Hilly sets it down. Pretty much automatic when, when that set is right there for Hilly. Really, it puts the pressure on everyone else on the floor except for the setter and Hilly. As long as the, the other four of you can get to that service and get her a nice pass that she can work with, yeah. That's going to be an ace, kind of a knuckleballer on its way in the middle of the defense. It's 9-0 here in the third set. And another ace. Quick 10-0 lead for the Rebels. Then making easy work of it here in set number three. Oh. Again, yeah, just you don't. You don't dangle that's that a gift. one in front of a shark. That is a gift. Yeah, that set uh, a little offline, floated to the other side of the net. She's oh, over there that. to defend and says, oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. I'll just pound this one to the floor. Try to catch him napping. Not happening. And Ashburn, the setter, getting the kill. Timeout, Coon Rap is talking about down 12 nothing to the Rebels here, trying to put this one away in relatively quick fashion. They're trying to ice, ice it, baby. I had to. Sorry, this was just there. It was, a, it was, it was just low hanging fruit for me. All right, I will stop, collaborate, and listen. It's <laughs> just really bad. Hey. I never said they were good. I never said my, I just throw them out there before I think about it. Mm -hmm. 1988, here we come. <laughs> it's a good year for me. But you know, I this song was so huge. Oh, and it absolutely, still it still is big. But it was so big. Like 89, probably. I think it was 89. It was so big that it was laughable at the time. That's how popular it was. I heard it for the level. Ellingson to continue her service right near the back line, and it's off the basketball hoop, and that'll throw you off. Make it that much more difficult when there's obstacles in the way uh, yeah. up near the ceiling. It's kind of like the clown's mouth on and, uh, and mini golf. Harris has to back off to get to that one. Set up in the block. Rebels able to keep it alive and pushed over by Ashburn. And no one can get to it near the back 
why? That's how you know things are going right for you when, that, when you take one off the net and able to push it to the back corner and nobody's there. Diving saved by Wright. Cardinals able to get it over. Set goes to Buffington. Cardinals can't receive another kill, 15-0. That's going to be a carry 16. You know, we talk about this game being a game of streaks. Yep. We've already seen the longest streak possible. Yep. One that I, we have never, never seen, seen before. Never seen. The 25 point streak in game one here on 16, make it 17 straight here in set three. Emma Wright will check in. Alex is 24, Emma is 18. They're sophomore twins. The Wright sisters. And it's 18 nothing. And John Yonker is still over coaching his girls because even though they're way ahead in this one and, and it's a overmatched opponent. You don't like to see when your team is sloppy with the ball. They need to be able to pass, set, and strike out of every situation and, and run the offense they want to run. No question about it. And you, you, every night's gonna, not going to be like this. Ashburn gets Park. another kill. 19-0. Yeah, I think this is probably the second longest streak we've ever seen. Probably right. Eva McDonough, Eva McDonough into the contest for Coon Rapids. A little English on that one for Ellingson just dropped it over. That's your friend. And in for another ace, 20-0. Another ace, 21. Oh, Timeout called by Coon Rapids again. 21 nothing lead for Champlin Park, and they're looking to salt this one away. Red shaking his head. Coach Arcan talking to his squad. can run the streak four points away McDonough on the attack and went wrong side of the pin Down a place it across. Rebels attack with Heimer. From the right side, Buffington and a diving save attempt by Fossilin comes up empty. It's 23. Oh, a quick time to wipe up the floor a little. Moisture there. Make sure nobody gets hurt. Ah! 
Rebels have to scramble a little bit. Pushed over by Heimer. And the Cardinals can't control it. It's match point. And they've got a few chances they do. at the match point. They do. Again, wiping up a little uh, moisture from the floor. Okay. All right. Gracie Ellingson trying to complete the sweep. Second time tonight. Yang has it, the set for McDonough. And she's got the kill. The Cardinals are on the board. So we saw 25 points in a row and 24 oh, points in a row. Pretty two, longest, two longest streaks you can Ever, have, right? Absolutely. Now Foslin's going to show off the 26 point. No, 25 point streak, because that's what they would need to get to 26. Yeah. Kill attempt is one, it's 24.2. Just the start, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Just All the start. you need is a, is, a, is a chance. Gotta like that, Ace. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, you'll take any point, any way you can get one. When the tape is your friend. Absolutely. Punched over by Ellingson. Played across by McDonough. Here comes the attack by Heimer. Yang is there for it. Punched over by Fosslin. Attack in the middle for Buffington. McDonough gets it across. Heimer gets it down the line for the win. There it is. And the Rebels have done it in three. Three relatively quick sets for the win for Champlain Park. Moves into 3 0. Cardinals looking for their first win. Drops their record to 0 3, Joe Yen. Yeah, and, and uh, just exposes a lot to work on for the Cardinals. Not a lot of positives to walk away from uh, in this one as, uh, nope. you know, you talk about it. They didn't score a point in the first set and gave up the first 24 points in the third. And those, uh, you know, just the simple things of catching passes and, and getting your offense into some sort of rhythm. Well, you know, they knew it would be tough coming in here. I'm not sure if they thought it would be this outcome. But, uh, you know, 25-0, 25-10, 25-3, relatively easy night for the Rebels. And for uh, the Cardinals, uh, you know, they beat goes on. They've got a lot more tough teams yep. uh, coming up in their schedule. Uh, of course, they've got Blaine, who's another top 10 team in the state of Minnesota uh, in just a, a week and a half or so. Their next couple contest, of weeks. Yeah, next contest is at Elk River on Thursday. And the Rebels will travel. Actually, they'll be home against Andover on Thursday as well. So that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. It's the Rebels in three, 25-0, 25-10, 25-3. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. <laughs> the entire crew, including Ash Shapiro, I'm Joe Young, saying goodnight.